Today I wanted to talk to you about a vacuum. We pull vacuums on air conditioning systems to make sure there are no contaminants in the system, primarily moisture. Now, moisture in a system can cause all sorts of problems and we want to make sure that that is not a factor on why your air conditioner is having issues in the future. To do that, we need a vacuum pump. This vacuum pump helps us create a deep vacuum on your system to boil the water moisture out of the system. Now, a side benefit of that is it actually helps us ensure that there are no leaks. Due to uh, how low we pull the vacuum, if it holds for a set amount of time, that tells us that we are secure and there are no leaks in the system. To achieve that vacuum, we use this tool here. Now, this is what gets connected and pumps down the system to make sure that we have no moisture. We also use the proper hosing to make sure that it, that vacuum can get deep enough, along with these two tools here, referred to as core removal tools, to ensure there are no restrictions to help us get this process done as efficiently and quickly as possible. This one specifically, why I chose it, is because this front thing here, we have the ability to drain oil into replacement canisters so that I can continue to work. Usually when it pulls out moisture and this oil gets contaminated, it slows down my process. So to ensure that I'm being as efficient as possible, I can quickly release oil, discard the old oil while refilling here at the top and ensuring that we continue to move along and get the most efficient job done. Now we've explained what a vacuum pump does the proper hosing and the proper tools used. Another tool that is extremely important, is a must have for me, is a vacuum gauge. This gauge is going to tell me how low my vacuum is. And that's really important because there's a set number that we need to reach to ensure that the moisture is all boiled off and we are holding, right? So two of my tools that I've used is a digital vacuum gauge. This one gives me a clean readout on the screen that I can visibly monitor as I'm pulling down my system. The second one here, along with my Testo tools, connects to my phone, but this one's really neat because it does the same thing. It kind of gives me a nice recorded graph of the start of my vacuum to the end. It'll read out how quickly or how long it takes to pull that vacuum down, but the cool thing about this is it also performs forms what's called a decay test, which simply means, do we have a leak? Is there too much loss of vacuum that we have created, that we have a hole in our system? So this will perform that for me and give me a green, good to go, or a red, we have an issue. So that's why I really like this one. That's why I've gone this way. It helps me perform my job significantly more efficient because I'm running out of tools to review. So <laughs> anybody has any tools they want me to review, go ahead and send them my way. I'd be more than happy to do it.